First one is from Amreen. Uh, says, there is a man from India who has started walking to Hajj and his mission is to reach Saudi by next Hajj. Is this permissible? The answer is, this is not part of the Sunnah. And this is a misconception that a lot of the Muslims fall under when they think that the more hardship you inflict upon yourself, the better it is for you at the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal, which is not true. When the hardship is a result of your worship inflicted upon you not by choice, you are rewarded. Someone traveling to Hajj and on his airplane or the bus or whatever means of transportation he's using, he falls sick, he gets a fever, he is really tired and finding it hard, he's rewarded. Someone by his own intention, willingly, instead of sitting under the shade or under an umbrella, he goes in a convertible or decides not to have anything on top of his head exposed to the sun the whole day time. He's sinful. The Prophet saw alayhi salatu wasalam, a man walking barely being carried by two of his sons, but still insisting to walk. And the Prophet said to his companions, Allah Azza wa Jal is not in need for this man to torture himself. And he said to him, ride and don't walk. Allah doesn't want you to torment yourself. And he also heard of a man who took an, a vow to not ride and walk instead for Hajj or for Umrah. And the Prophet said والسلام, to him or to some other woman, I forgot, he said, order them to ride and not to walk and not to fulfill such a vow. Because this is not a vow in worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah doesn't want to burden us. But if you're walking on your normal rituals and you find difficulty, alhamdulillah. But if you had the means to sit in an air-conditioned tent or a room and you say to yourself, no, this is too luxurious. I'd like to sit in the heat under the sun. This is not something that you will be rewarded for.